Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of The Bigger Picture. I'm Matthews Frank, and of course, here at The Bigger Picture, we're all about recognizing those organizations here on campus that you may have never heard of. So, before we get into tonight's episode, let's do a little bit of communication between me and you guys at home. So, Thanksgiving break is, correct me if I'm wrong, not next week, but the week after. So, let's talk about that real quick. So, I'm excited to go home for Thanksgiving. I need to run some errands. I got to get a haircut. I got to get ready for graduation. I got to spend time with my family, the food, of course. So, I'm super excited about that. To everybody out there watching, please get home safely. The weather up here has been kind of bipolar with the rain, the hail, the sunshine, the wind. It's crazy. So if you're traveling back home, whether if it's bus, plane, train, car, please be safe. Get home safely. Come back to Oswego safely and come back ready because when we come back to Oswego, finals week. Straight to finals. Um, but I mentioned this on the last episode. I might as well mention it again. Stay tuned to the Bigger Pictures Instagram page as we will be debuting a new series of videos interviewing a bunch of new people. So if you're ready to see some quick little interviews, stay tuned to Instagram. We got some heat coming towards your way. But before we jump into tonight's episode and tonight's guest, our wonderful guest, let's talk about some upcoming events that you should attend if you have some time, of course. This Saturday, join the Latino Student Union as they present their 46th annual dinner. The theme this year is all about Afro-Latinidad. They'll be celebrating the indigenous and African roots found in various cultures and ethnicities within the Latinx community. Tickets are still on sale for just $10 at the SUNY Oswego box office. Of course, Saturday is going to be a big day. We're not done yet. Join two and a half this Saturday as they present Skate for a Victim. This is a fundraiser event done with the intention of donating all proceeds to the foundation of the Kings of Kings Foundation. This foundation is, of course, located in Queens, New York, and their mission revolves all around informing the youth about the dangers of guns and gang violence and the lack of education. They will be skating and having photographers, DJs, snacks, you name it, they got it, all for a good time. And plus, the price is just $2.50. You can't beat that. So pop out to screen, skate for a victim this Saturday, Sweatman Gym. Also Saturday. Join the African American Male Empowerment Network as they will be having their second annual Black Excellence Networking Ball this Saturday. This year's theme is about Men in Black. So if you see the movie Men in Black, you can probably envision what this networking ball will be about. So this year's theme, Men in Black, is crafted to cater to the men of SUNY Oswego with an opportunity for them to network with SUNY Oswego alumni while being served brunch. This event will be held in MCC Room 114, with doors opening at 11 a.m. and the event starting at 12 p.m. Tickets are just $10 at the SUNY Oswego box office, so make sure you get your tickets before they sold out. Last but definitely not least, December 2nd, join the African Student Organization as they present their annual Pan-Africa event. The theme is Coming to Africa and is based off the movie Coming to America with a special touch. Again, the dinner's on December 2nd from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. with doors opening at 6.30 p.m. Get your tickets also at the SUNY Oswego box office. Of course, stay tuned because when we come back to the bigger picture, we'll have a very special guest joining us tonight. So you know what to do. See you guys after the break. President Stanley, whenever there's bad weather, who would you turn to? I'd turn to Storm Team 10. No, right but here. you've got to say it like this. Storm Team 10. Say it with me. Storm, Storm Team 10.
Jill told me it was Kitty from Glee. Yeah, what is it? Al Roker. Welcome back to The Bigger Picture. Tonight, our special guest is the Golden Z Club of SUNY Oswego. This club was formed in order to serve as a place of education, support, and awareness for women of all backgrounds, including race, class, age, sexual orientation, and political belief. And for the campus of SUNY Oswego, of course. The Golden Z Club of SUNY Oswego makes the college community aware of the challenges of women throughout their weekly meetings, flyers, handouts, and programming. They also focus on community outreach program, whether it's locally or internationally, through service and advocacy. Please help me welcome the graphic designer, Naomi, and the vice president, Jalia. <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome to the bigger picture. So, y'all ready for some questions? Yes. All right. So the first question I have for you guys is, what does the Golden Z Club at SUNY Oswego mean to you guys? And how does the SUNY Oswego Golden Z Club support women from diverse backgrounds on campus? Oh, well, for me, um, the Golden Z Club means a lot about advocacy. It means um, supporting women all around the world, not just in Oswego, but also in um, the Oswego community, as well as um, places all over the country and all around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, like just piggybacking off of what Julia said, like, you know, just finding a space for women to just be comfortable and um, be able to express themselves, be able to advocate for the things they care about um, within you know, their own personal lives or other things that's outside of their lives that you know, sometimes you can't control. Yeah, just providing that space and um, just giving them that opportunity to you know, be a part of something greater than just like you know, being a student on at Oswego. Okay, and what got, you guys, what got you guys interested in starting this club? Because this is a fairly new club to the SUNY Oswego campus. So what were you guys' motivations of joining? Well, for me, my motivation was to just to advocacy. I was very big on supporting people, not just me, and being a voice um, to people who didn't have a voice, or to people who wasn't as you know, impactful inside their lives to me. And I feel like doing that it really empowered me, especially just the space and having Olivia, the president of Golden Z, come to me about the opportunity to help her create the club, she really empowered me to just step forward and do more with inside my community. Okay, Naomi? Um, yeah, I feel like I was definitely, um, I guess, motivated because of Julia as well, because I know, I know Julia um, personally, so it's like I know that she has good intentions and like she's always supporting like you know the greater cause like things that are you know just good for in general like as a student as a person um so i was like i didn't really know what golden z was before but like i just you know we it was like a process where we all were just getting more information understanding what you know golden z was about and seeing how um it could have a positive impact in our community and outside of our community. So yeah, I was like, I want to be a part of that. So I was like, that's cool. And you know, even though I'm a graphic designer, you know, I, I feel like that's still supporting <laughs> in some way, in creative, yeah. creative way. I think, yeah, I think any position on the e-board, you're still doing your job to support that organization. And you know, you're paving your way no matter what position you're in. So how do the Golden Z Club's weekly, whether if it's meetings or your flyers and handouts or your programs, raise awareness about challenges by women on the college community or the SUNY Oswego community to be more. Um, they, so the meet, so since I'm a graphic designer, I do make the flyers. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like even the, like when we first started Golden Z, like last semester in the spring, like we just had like a more informational um, flyer that so like people could, you know, be more aware of it and like, I feel like maybe it's just the way how I like made the flyer. Like I feel like some people was more drawn to that and like the vibe it was given. And I feel like that's kind of the purpose of the like the intention that was to like give the vibe of like, you know, this is a, a welcoming environment and you know, we wanna cater to everybody, anybody and everybody, not just women. 
um, so that they can also be educated, just be more um, aware of like what's going on and how we can contribute to the community. Okay. You know, um, before we didn't have a social media manager and we actually got Kay. She's a really big influence Kay. on campus. Yeah. Yes. And as she is our social media director, and when she became that, she started making a lot of videos and TikToks about the stuff that we do. And I feel like that was very impactful as well. Kay and Naomi work alongside together and they make it really good to just represent how the things that we do and like what we do and how big of an impact it is in our community. So before we move on, I just also want to give a shout out to Kay. Um, Kay was actually on The Bigger Picture once before and she has told us a bunch of great things about organizations like Her Campus, Women's Center, the Golden Z Club. So we always appreciate Kay and all the work she's done on this campus. So. Let's talk about some of the programs or the activities that Golden Z Club provides for the women of SUNY Oswego, just not even for the women of SUNY Oswego, but everybody else on SUNY Oswego campus. So can I get some examples of some of the programs you guys held so far? Yeah, so we actually started this campus a little bit um, last semester. A couple of the programs that we've done so far for International Women's Day, it's in March. Last, this year in March, we did a, um, we handed out roses to um, the students on campus where each of them had uh, an inspirational quote on them. And I feel like a lot of students came up to me and told me that it really made their day and they were so happy that they got it and everything like that. Um, we also do a lot of informational programs. We just had a program um, for October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, where we taught students how to do self-examinations on their breasts for breast yeah. cancer awareness. Cool. And we had a speaker come in and actually demonstrate how to do it, as well as give out some information about what breast, ca what breast cancer is and how can it impact somebody's life, even if it doesn't directly impact you. Um, we also did a bunch of other programs. I believe September was Mental Health Awareness Month, so we did a, a movie night where we watched A Girl Interrupted that talked a lot about women facing mental health issues. And we do a lot of different other programs and there's more stuff to come. So you actually brought up a great point of more stuff to come. Is there a possibly a sneak peek of a program that we can know about that is gonna come up soon? Uh -huh. I mean, if not, it's okay, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, the, I mean, given that this club is new and we're still trying to understand what, like, the students at Oswego want, like, I mean, obviously, like, you're not supposed to, you know, just, like, make what people tell you to make, but it's also, like, how can we better, you know, support the community mm -hmm. and support students based on, like, the environment and the, um, the, the tone? Like, you know, you got to kind of, like feel the vibe so like see what people like if people are stressed like you know just be aware of like obviously like you know the awareness months and like what people are talking about right now how that how that how we how we could like better advocate for them and what they need right now so I feel like right now we're still in the works of like trying to figure out how those programs are going to look like for the future I mean we're still really figuring our program like you know I like as a club on campus. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I mean, if Julie, yeah. you have any ideas of? Yeah, um, not to say too much because <laughs> I don't want to like, you know, <laughs> say something, <laughs> but like we will, we, we are thinking about doing a donation drive to end of the semester. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't really know, or I can't really say like what organization we'll be donating to, but it's going to be a donation drive. So stay tuned for that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So one more question before we turn on to break. So. Of course, programming is fun to do. You know, we make the programs, we make the flyers, we do all the advocacy for that program. But if you was to name one program that Golden Z Club has done since being at Oswego that is your top favorite program, what would that program be? I think for me, it would be the harm reduction program that we did. Mm. Um, it wasn't our program, but we helped with um, the Friends of Recovery in Oswego, where we got to go to them and actually help them make harm reduction kits for the community. Some of our students that went actually got trained and certified to do Narcan training and actually um, perform a Narcan resuscitation to people who um, are in overdosing or in the process of overdosing. So I feel like that was my favorite program so far because I'm a big advocator for drug abuse and helping the community when it comes to drugs, especially because of Harlem where I'm from. And I think that was a, it was a really nice program. It was really something good to learn. It was really something good for the community. Yeah. Cool. Um, so you're saying my 
personal favorite? Yeah, like your all-time favorite Golden Z Club program that you guys had so far. Um, honestly, they've all been really good, but like I feel like my favorite would probably be the first program that we ever did, which is the Ikigai um, like program where we like got to like. It was it was it was kind of like the first program to just get like each other like comfortable just like being in a class like being the first like program of the club like it was like it was just kind of like to just get the nerves out learn about something new about a different um like agent practice you know just meditating like it was just the start of I mean it wasn't necessarily the start of the semester but I know it was getting to that time where people are becoming stressed so I feel like that was one of my favorite. I mean, I kind of did make the program, so I'm a little <laughs> biased. But um, yeah, I think that was just, and it was just also our first program, so I think that was just kind of the first, like a good way to like ease into like you know the the programs that we were and eventually made in the future. So yeah, I always feel like the first program is always the best program, just because you like you're diving into something that you hope people are gonna enjoy and people enjoyed it, so it's, it makes you feel good. So. I agree with the first program. So before we dive into our next questions, let's take a quick little break. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we're going to hear more from this Golden Z Club of SUNY Oswego. Boom. Commercial. I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. Hey, yes, Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Alright guys, welcome back from break. So again, for those who are just joining us, welcome to the Golden Z Club of Sunny Oswego here to tonight's episode. So to move on with the questions, how does Golden Z Club take account the different factors like race, class, age, sexual orientation when it comes to addressing the various challenges that some women on campus may come up to you guys and ask about? So um, to answer that question, I feel like it was very important for us to make a very diverse e-board. Mm. Our e-board is full of students who are, come from different backgrounds. We have international students, um, students of color, and just different people. We also have, which is, so Golden Z Club is actually a part of a bigger organization, and that organization tends to not have a lot of self-identifying women in there. But our organization, our organization is different from that, as we actually have male-identifying um, students on our e-board. So that's how we try to incorporate different people inside our clubs. Yeah. Shout out to Jamal for that. Yeah. yeah Jamal. <laughs> so Naomi, question for you: yeah, sure. Do you feel like, as an e-board member, as graphic designer, that you can see 
how diverse Golden Z Club is as just being one of the positions on the board? Um, yes, definitely. Um, I feel like even, you know, Jilly already said uh, based on the background, you know, the ethnicity and like, it's just, it's, no one is literally the same, like no one came from the same background mm -hmm. and it's like, that's just a good, like you can't see that any, like, in most of the things that you see yeah. anywhere. So it's like, yeah. I feel like, I kind of search for the, <laughs> the question, yeah. but um, yeah, like as a graphic designer, I could see that, like even with the personalities, like, you mm -hmm. know, we're not all the same people and mm -hmm. we all, you know, maybe value other things more than other things, but at the end of the day, we kind of still have the yeah. same goals and the and same. you guys all bring like something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Even, yeah. even our other international student, Kiyoko, she's our mm -hmm. director of programming. Mm -hmm. And just seeing her kind of like build up from what she's used to inside her own home and kind of see like all the stuff happening in America and just trying to move and be better from that and make programs to help us and help people not even in her own country or even in here but try to just help around the world is really impactful yeah all right yeah. so for those watching the Golden Z Club not only works with the Oswego um the campus community, but they also work with the town of Oswego and the outside community of campus. So what does that work look like to you guys? How do you guys work with the outer, commu the outer campus community? Yeah, to explain a little bit about the history, or to, just to answer that question, I have to explain a little bit about like the history of Golden Z. The Golden Z Club is actually a part of a bigger organization called Zanta. Zanta is in is um, there is a Zanta based in Oswego, but it's also a part of other Zantas as well. And there's a thousand Zantas in 63 countries. Oh, wow. So there's a, and they've been around for over a hundred years. So doing this club, um, they really pushed us to do it. They motivated us. People in Zanta can be, there's politicians in there who live in Oswego, but there's also people on this campus that are Zanta members. A lot of um, women or staff and faculty um, on this campus are Zanta members and working with them alongside them of doing their programs and them coming to support us is really impactful and they really help us motivate us. I remember this, I think it was around the beginning of October, um, Oswego was having, I think it was like a pride festival of some sort and I went down there and you guys were tabling. Yeah. So when you guys table for events like that, how does that make you feel? Like you're there working for all the Oswego community, you're there seeing people smile, people come up to you guys talk, how does that make you feel? I feel like it's, it sort of builds a connection to people that you don't like because living on campus, I've been on, I'm a senior on campus, so I've been here for four years. And I kind of, you know, you get used to seeing the same students around because it is really a small campus. Mm -hmm. So just branching out and speaking to people inside the town, people who have different backgrounds from you, different lives from you, and you really get to like speak with them and ask them questions about um, different stuff that can really help you, motivate you, all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and even in, even though I wasn't at that event, unfortunately, um, I do think like Golden Z does do a good job at like you know attending a lot of these like events and programs like that. A lot of like I won't say like r like clubs on campus don't do that, but it's like I just feel like being outside of the Oswego community and like like being off campus and actually like making your presence known like you know throughout the community so that the community can see that you know we're not just a college campus that mm -hmm. like you know just go to classes and stuff like we actually like care about our values you know like you know all the things that we care about we try to like show that to other people as well and not just like you know hold it in or just like mm -hmm. you know make like meetings in our classrooms and stuff and talk about it but we try to do we try to advocate for that outside as well so I'm that's one thing I love about Golden Z. Because yeah, because the main thing that when we started Golden Z is to have it branch outside. Because we're we're all members of like different e boards on campus, and we like to do that, but we also like to stretch outside from that. And that's the whole reason why we joined Golden Z is to get that experience outside of campus. All right. So the next question is: If was there one moment throughout your time being on Golden Z Club that you were like, wow, like? I would always remember this moment, whether it was just the first program, like Naomi said, or just starting the org in general. Was there that one moment that you was always gonna stick with you no matter where you at in life? 
You know, I feel like for me, that moment would be when we was presenting our club to SA. Mm -hmm. We had to do like a big presentation on like why we wanted to start the club and why it would be different from all the other clubs on campus. Like what would make us different, what would make us stand out. And I feel like that was very impactful because the women of Zanta came in in that presentation to sit in the background and support us. Um, we had a lot of we had a lot of support from people in SA also. So it was really nice to see that, and it was really nice to know that like what we're doing is like a start of something. Like we're giving that door to something new on campus. I mean, was there a moment for you that stuck out would always stick with you? Like any moment. Any moment. I mean, you um, did mention earlier the first program, so the first program could be your moment. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's so funny if it would be, though. But um, <laughs> honestly, I feel like it, it was more like the intimate moments that we had, like as an e-board. Like the bonding nights? Yeah, like, like honestly, I wish, like I understand, like, obviously not obviously sorry but like most of our e-board are like seniors so i feel like our schedules do kind of clash a lot mm -hmm. and we don't get to like spend as much time as we could have or were like able to spend last semester and stuff but um i feel like when we do have those like you know meetings like it is so like refreshing to like mm -hmm. like see us like bond and it's like usually like i know a lot of people they would like stay in their like little clique or stay in their group and i feel like moments like these like this you know we can try to see our differences but not see it as differences but see it as a way to like actually connect and like you know just be be like good with each other and i feel like those moments is like i guess the the best positive part i like that yeah so before we wrap up tonight's episode we always end off the bigger picture episodes with letting the organizations know if they could give one piece of advice to anybody watching tonight's episode. So, Jalea and Naomi, if there's one piece of advice that somebody watching and they want to join the Golden Z Club could hear from you guys, what would that piece of advice be? Um, my advice that I would give to somebody watching is that if you ever thought about something and didn't know how to start it or didn't have the support to do it, Golden Z Club is that space and organization. We have a lot of different um, communication outlets, we have a lot of different people who, that maybe even as a college student, maybe in your career field that you'd be willing to talk to somebody about. And I feel like the most biggest thing or the most hardest thing that it is is just to start. And it may seem like the stuff going on inside of the world now is very like heavy and you seem like kind of small in it, but like being a part of an organization like this makes you feel like you're standing up bigger inside the fight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I feel like I was gonna I was gonna say something similar to what Julia said. Like like I wanna I want people to know that you will have a voice at Golden Z, like you will be able to share your opinions, share everything that you feel like is important to like, you know, address or like something that if you if you wanna create a program or like a a Friday like, you know, weekly meeting or something about something that you care about, then this is like the club for you to do that. I feel like when you're coming in to us we go as a freshman like you might not like know where you want to go or like where you most stand out or like you know your people I guess but I feel like this is just a good you know place for you to like figure that out and also like also bring in your own values and your own you know experience and like you know share with people so that we can actually like you know advocate for you and do something about it so Mm. So my piece of advice to help out it here is, um, like Naomi and Jalea said, if you're interested in starting a club, they did it. They're the advocates right here. If they can do it, you can too. So if you yourself are thinking of a club that you want to start, take their lessons. They did it themselves. They went to SA. They spoke on behalf of what they wanted to do, and look where they're at now. So if you yourself are curious in the Golden Z Club, visit their Instagram page, go to one of their programs, follow them around. They're out here, they're walking around, they're everywhere. We see them, we love them. So if you want to join Golden Z, you know what to do. But a big thank you to the Golden Z Club. A big thank you to the Golden Z Club for being with us today. Your insights into the club's mission and activities have been great, and we're all very grateful for your participation here on campus. To all our viewers watching at home, thank you for joining us on tonight's episode of The Bigger Picture. Thank you to Naomi, thank you to Jalea, thank you to everybody backstage. And as always, until next time, and remember to always see things through the bigger picture.